Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Um, another video for this SFML game, so we'll just keep going. But before we do, please check out the description box as always. A uh, bunch of useful links, uh, Discord, Twitter, support page. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, so what I want to do is, is the state class is going to be pretty much the basis for our game. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna contain everything we need. Uh, it's gonna do everything we need. And uh, for example, our game is gonna run in its own state. Our um, menu is gonna run in its own state. So basically, this game class that we have here it just creates the window and creates the context, basically where we're gonna draw. And then the state itself is going to kind of keep all the resources it needs. So I'm going to create a new little folder here. It should work for you if you do, if you're working on, uh, if you're working in, what do you call it? Um, the thingamajig. What do you call it? Code blocks and stuff. So it's, this should work for you. I don't know if this actually created a, a states uh, folder. It didn't actually. Hmm. See if I can make a new folder called states. Okay. And then we add or we create a new item. Browse. Or we'll go into states. Okay. All right. C plus plus class, and we're gonna call it game state. Game state. I think, and we're just going to add it virtual destructor base class state access public. Okay. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Um, I'm going to put that into the states file here and I'll put state into the states file as well. Um, Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we're not gonna be working with main, so I'm closing that. Um, game, we're gonna be working with soon. Game state, I'm putting that over here. Um, pretty much, pretty much, okay. So I do include, include game state here. Game state is gonna be our, basically where everything happens, okay, for the game. We're just gonna create it here. It can create other states and everything. So that's cool. All right. So we have this. I'm going to remove this again um, and set it to obviously I'm in UK again. I hate that. I hate when that happens. Uh, if and def game state dot h define game state h. And again, this is all for all you users that it, um, Pragma once doesn't work for. So I'm just using this just to make it a little easier for you. Um, to just copy the code. So there we go. So we, we included all that. Let's do a private section here. So we're not going to work too much more with this right now. We're just going to keep game state so it exists here. Now, wh whoops, I should, probably shouldn't have closed that. Uh, game state H. So let's focus on one thing. So remember, state has two pure virtual functions that have to be defined in the child in the child class. So I need to define void update, okay? And I need to define void render, pretty sure, all right? And I'm gonna define these in the game state dot cpp like this. Now pull that to the side, and here we go. So it doesn't do that much. It's just here for now. Game state game state dot h just here for now. Um, so we can play around with that, but I'm just going to close these two right now. Cause we're not going to work with that. We're going to work in game.h, but we, let's just go into state and let us include something called the stack. Okay. And while we're at it, let's include map as well, because we're going to need that. Okay. Hopefully you can include these. Uh, if you can't, please just tell me in the comment section and we'll check it out. It should be like this. I'm not sure how it is for code blocks. If you can include map, you should be able to. It's a standard, just like vector. 
Um, all right, so we're just gonna include vector as well into the h file. Now, now let's close state for now. Let's go to game.h and we have our, all our core stuff and then we're gonna do a std stack um, state pointer states, okay? So a state pointer states. And the reason we did a state pointer is because state is a um, abstract class. You can't create objects of state. You can only create pointers of state and references. So we created a stack that we can add new states to. And I hope you see what's going on. So this is gonna keep all my states, the game state, main menu state, anything. And, and when we pop that state, when we remove it, we're gonna be going down a level. So imagine you're in, in main menu state. You go into game state. That's pushed on top of this stack, right? Just a stack of cards, imagine. The top card is always the active one. So you're running game state. And then from game state, you're like, save and exit. It's going to remove game state from the stack. Just throw that card away. Then the top card is going to be main menu, right? Because it was right below game state. And then you're going to update that state constantly. So that's how states work. And it's a nice way to kind of, um, you know, divide up your program. Any type of program, basically. I like using this system because it really, it really is a nice system. Uh, so we have states, and for that, I'm pretty much going to create a function states in its states. Okay, um, and I'm going to define that function. So it's a it's a private function, very simple. All it's going to do is going to push one state. So this states dot push new game state or something like game state okay we haven't really created that yet so i'm just going to comment this out for now and we're going to push it in a little later but the most important thing right now is to be able to update the states so we have update dt update the fml events uh, for the window and everything and then we're going to update and render okay and we're going to call the top states update and we're going to call the top states render so if this states dot empty, okay, if it's not empty, we're gonna do this states dot render, no, dot top render, okay, there we go. So one thing we can do is when we create our state, we could, uh, we could, send in a pointer to the window to that state or when we render it we can update it all right so there's there's two ways you can do that now we're going to need to set up a way to remove states as well and that's going to be done here in update uh, but for now we're just going to keep update like this okay pretty much pretty much and every state's going to have a way to want to quit okay it's going to ask to quit and when it asks to quit uh, it will be saved and set down just you know all the process will be done for it whatever it needs to do when it wants to quit that will be specified in the state um, dot h or the, the in that specific state okay so if we open state dot h we're just gonna say we're gonna create a virtual void uh, end state and we're gonna say zero to to that okay so that means that we have to create an end state function and that's going to basically make sure that we can end the state okay now again we can we can choose to render to these if we want um, the way I like to do it is I'll in the state uh, constructor here I'm gonna actually do a SF render target pointer target okay um, or the window the, the actual context render window okay I'm gonna create a pointer I do like to do it this way because it kind of you know it, it kind of saves it I don't have to send it in all the time so I like that um, but then we can also do a sf render target pointer target equal null pointer okay 
And what you do here is basically if nothing is given in here, we'll render to the window. If this, you want to render to something specific, some specific target, you can send it in here if you want. Okay. So basically, basically that's how that works. Now we have Delta time out in game as well. So I'm going to do a const DT const float uh, DT in here while we update. Okay. Because I, I don't want to save all those things here. Um, that's going to be on game, the engine itself. Render is going to keep the context and everything and that's fine. So then end state as well. Cool. Um, that's good. So if we open state.cpp again, uh, like this, here we go. So now I'm, no, I'm jumping back and forth a little bit. I'm sorry, but let's just, let's just think about state for now. So let's just fix everything we did. We added a pointer here to the constructor. Okay. Right here. So I'm going to say this window equals window. Okay. Easy peasy. Then the constructor or the destructor doesn't need anything really. Um, then we added a cons float DT to the update. Okay. So let's open game state CPP and game state H again. Okay. Again, jumping back and forth, but it's okay. So the update had the cons float DT. Let's put that in here. Okay. Go back to state.h. Get this parameter here. SF render target null pointer everything. Let's copy that. Uh, game state.h again, put that in the render. Boom, easy. It's not too bad. You know, it's not too too much to do. Um, pretty much, pretty much. Updates, fine. Game state. Okay, so now the constructor is complaining because remember we added this uh, uh, the window pointer to the constructor for state. So we need to kind of call that constructor from game state. And I'm just going to put the window here as well in game state like this okay and then I'm gonna call that constructor state with window okay I'm just gonna send it in like that just a pointer to that window so easy peasy nothing special all right so that's a cool way we can we can create the game state like this no big deal in here we're probably gonna have our characters and everything so it's, it's gonna be fine it's gonna it's gonna work um, all right so that's good that's good. Now, once we have that done, I'm pretty sure if we go to game.cpp, game.h, um, we can send in this DT. And then here in window, the, the render thing here, we're going to say this uh, window. So we're just going to render to the window. Otherwise, we can just leave it at null pointer and it will render to the window itself. Okay. Uh, so that's good. We'll just leave update and render for now. So we don't work on too much stuff. Am I recording? Okay, yeah, pretty much done now, pretty much uh, beginning to end this. So one thing I want to do before I leave you, we'll delete the window and then we have to do uh, while this states dot empty. Okay, while we're not empty, we need to do this states dot pop. So we're just going to remove all the states that or we're going to do delete this states uh, top all right and then we're going to do a pop after that um, this states dot pop because remember this is done by dynamic memory so we need to we need to kind of remove it uh, so the top and the pop just void okay so it removes the pointer this removes the data the pointer is holding and this removes the actual pointer. So it will do that until uh, while it's not empty. So once you do that, you should be fine. And then we're just going to do new game state. Now to include that, go to game.h. Instead of state, add game, game state here. Okay. Because state has whatever it has. And it's included into game state. And game state will include all of that in itself. So we don't have lots of multiple uh, includes game state uh, this window okay um, mm, 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 abstract class type oh yeah yeah end state okay before we end we gotta do the end state uh, functions 
void end state. Okay, I guess it was like that. End state. Virtual void end state. Game. No, game state. Here we go. So just make a little definition for that. We don't need to we don't need to do anything more with it. So here we go ahead and push a game state. Okay. As we initialize the states. And to just finish off, we need to init call it right here, init states. Okay. Boom. So we're done. Pretty much done. In the update, it's going to update the current state, which will be game state. All right. And if we go in a game state in the update, let's just say std c out hello from game state. Boom. Run this. Hopefully it will crash. Hopefully it will crash so I can fix all the problems. Game state uh, parameter one, whatever. Uh, render. Oh yeah, you need to remove this from both. Uh, actually, I like keeping it there. I'll remove it here. Okay, you remove it from the CPP. You can only have one default argument. Um, value or value for the for the parameter. And there we go. Hello from game state. Hello from game state. Hello from game state. And this should work even if we do not initialize even if we do not push a state which we will do we will always push a state but even if we don't it will still work it will be in game state all right so there you go that's pretty much how this is going to work and remember to delete anything you assign with new okay just make sure you do this so you don't get a bunch of memory leaks okay so there you go guys and girls this has been a little longer video on states but we actually have the base going now so we can kind of work with game state and everything so please remember just close all the things you're not using and working on right now okay so you you kind of you know what the hell you're doing okay so i'm going to try to do that as well try to be as slow and clear as possible and yeah if you have any comments on how i'm going how i'm doing please tell me if you want me to slow down i will i promise don't be afraid just ask me okay and uh, hopefully i'll see you on discord and all that stuff Go ahead and check out the description box, like I said. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you liked this video and all the content. So, thank you again. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.